Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will be looking at mathematics crossword puzzles using the Interactive Math Crossword eBook. First, you will need to download the Interactive Math Crossword eBook from the link below displayed in the info section of YouTube. Double click on Math Crossword exe file to run the eBook. You should be presented with a math crossword ebook screen of this nature. We have on the left hand side here the navigation pane from which we can select different types of crossword puzzles. These are numbers where numbered values are entered or values in word form are entered for numbers. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Consist, these consist of sums with varying degree of difficulty. The miscellaneous section currently consists of a mixture of sums and numbers. The contact us screen allows, uh, gives you the information on contact details of the developer and the web address for the web space and YouTube channels shown here. The home screen will take you back to the home screen which explains a bit about the ebook itself and what topic it's covered already. Okay, so when you select a crossword puzzle, for example numbers two, what you will be presented with is the crossword itself and a PDF format of the check puzzle button here. You will also be presented with a screen where it will actually tell you the different methods of delivering or defining a solution for the crossword puzzles. Whether it's in words, as shown here, all solutions are in words, or in numbers, if we select numbers 3, we have here all solutions are numerical values or alphanumeric values such as the ones we get on division here all solutions are alphanumeric values e.g. if there is a remainder in its re it is represented as 23R5 remainder 5 otherwise just the whole number of value is used it is crucial that you follow and adhere to the instructions given when you're writing your solutions in the crossword. Let me take you through the functionality that the ebook has to offer. What I will do is take you through a partial demo of edition one crossword puzzle. Here we, we can clearly see that all solutions are numeric values. So when we click any of these value on the grid, so we click this one, what will what will happen is we will be given a screen where we can enter a value and we have the the clue for the crossword puzzle here highlighted in red. It says evaluate 18 plus 15. It basically means uh, solve the sum 18 plus 15. Just add 18 to 15 and we get uh, 33. Click OK. This will enter the value 33 within that field. Now we can check the puzzle at this stage to see how, whether it's a correct puzzle or not and keep checking as we go along or check the puzzle at the end. Let's check the puzzle for now 
and it basically says no errors were found but 25 incomplete words were found. This means we haven't filled in 25 solutions which are all over the place here. We've only filled in one, one solution out of the whole puzzle. So we can continue and select the next puzzle here. As we can see that it is linked to the value 3 here and which is displayed up here as well. It's the clue is across three letters. In, in, in our case, it's numerical values. Uh, evaluate 97 plus 16 plus 80. What well, it's uh, the solution is 193, obviously. But what I will do is make a deliberate mistake to show you how this will show the benefits of the interactivity that's offered within this crossword puzzle. 153 is obviously wrong, uh, wrong solution to this puzzle here and if we click on the check puzzle what we'll get is one error and 24 incomplete words were found the error is obviously highlighted in red now so we can easily edit this, select this again edit it and put the correct value in which is 193 what we still have is it's still highlighted in, in red that's because we haven't checked the puzzle again once we've corrected the solution so we check puzzle again and now what we have is no errors were found but 24 incomplete words were found it means we still need to fill in the rest of the puzzle what, we'll do, what I'll do is solve the next one and then we'll continue on here we, we have evaluate 35 plus 46 and this comes to 81. Basically we can continue like this throughout the puzzle either checking at each individual stage or check the whole puzzle right at the end and we will be presented with the solution whether it's incorrect or not. Okay so uh, you can always um, put values, that there are methods where you have to put decimal values in and I will demonstrate that now so I'm going to leave this addition 1 as it is and move on to addition 2 here what we have is a question where we evaluate a decimal sum 9.1 plus 1.9 plus 6.7 this value comes to 17 point seven. What we do here is actually in include the decimal point within uh, our solution and click OK and check puzzle. There were no errors found. So that is a correct solution. We can continue this again with this is this this means that it contains a mixture of decimal values and whole number values. The sums are a mi healthy mix of both. So the child can experience both decimal sums and whole number sums. Here we put whole number value 121. We do not need to place decimal point in as, the, as we're only adding whole number values. Click 121 and the next solution again a decimal value there and with the interactivity we've got we can actually make mistakes as we're going along and what you'll get you did not type enough letters this word has five letters what we've done is we've actually typed four so we can actually augment our answer change our answer to point this again we can check the puzzle and uh, what I've done is a deliberate mistake here which we can correct now so that's 197.2 there we go check puzzle and again no errors were found let's move on to the miscellaneous section where you have this math 1 puzzle this is quite an interesting puzzle as it tests uh, various methods that are, have been dis used within this crossword section. 
some of which are quite, quite challenging, such as Roman numerals. You would write this, these values in words. So what we have here, let me use a simple example, square root of xvi. xvi is a Roman numeral value which is 16 and square root of 16 is 4 and we type these in words 4 and then we check the puzzle there were no errors found here as shown here is questions where we tested on our mathematical knowledge of uh, shapes and objects number of faces on a cube we have six faces on a cube click six and there we go printing functionality what you can do is print this puzzle using the print functionality here at the top click print we select one page view as laid out let's see only the selected frame okay let's go back close that so we select this frame and we click print so this now we, when we select only the selected frame we will get the frame that we've been working on we can click landscape to give us a landscape view and that's slightly better in terms of what, what we get for print quality so this is how we print the solution out for our own record. Just close that, I, I won't print, but you can always uh, click on the print button from here to print your solution. Furthermore, you can move your uh, print in PDF format, file format, by clicking on PDF. Here, what you'll get is a PDF file format of the document. I'm going to try and view this at 25%. So um, let me select a different puzzle, which is uh, slightly smaller. So it's more efficient. Here we go. PDF file format. What we have here is this uh, exact same crossword puzzle, but in PDF file format, which can be printed off and or saved. You print using this print functionality there and adjust the settings as, as necessary and click OK to print. We'll click cancel or save button to click save the file. The other thing you can do with this puzzle is once printed it can be used as homework sheet or class activity sheet once you print it out as PDF format. contact us to contact um, me you can uh, look at the screen here and you can contact the ebook e developer if you see and find any bugs or any mistakes within this ebook so they can be updated and will be much appreciated what you will also see is the rest face and YouTube links to view the demos on YouTube if you are connected to the internet you can click the YouTube or MySpace hyperlink here such as which is what I've done now and what you will be presented with is the YouTube channel within within the ebook so we're still within our ebook and we can surf the YouTube now here and watch any YouTube videos that I've uploaded here If you click YouTube logo at the top right corner, which is up here, you can connect to the YouTube channel in your default browser, as I've done just now. Now I'm using, I'm currently in my default browser, which is the Internet Explorer, and connected within my YouTube channel. Let's close the Internet Explorer, and let's go back to my home screen on my ebook and now we're on the home screen basically this concludes my demo and I hope you found the interactive math crossword useful don't forget to click the link in the info section 
for your very own copy of Math Crossword eBook.